I just pulled a Casey Neistat at the pool and fell on the deck with my camera in my hand. Hurt my wrist, hurt my back, hurt my thumb on my right hand. Smashed my camera off the deck. My camera's fine, that's all I really care about. Uh, walking over to the patio here, check out this view guys. Come on camera, adjust, adjust. Looky there. That is my view from our 10th floor hotel. So this is our last night here at South Bay Inn and Suites. We're taking off to Charleston, South Carolina. That's supposed to be a really, really historical place, and that should be a that should be a good time. I'm not going to leave you without B-rolling the room. This room has not one. Let me find it here. Has not one, but two TVs. I kid you not. Two TVs. Not only that, I got two queen size beds. And you're gonna say, well, you're there with your wife, what do you need two beds for? I also here with my seven-year-old daughter, Ella. You guys all know Ella, you've seen her in the videos before. She kicks like a mule during the night. So these two beds came in handy, trading off, getting kicked. Anyway, enough talk. Let's B-roll the room. Y'all ready for this? Here we go. Fogging up day four here in Myrtle Beach, guys. This is our last day here. We're actually packed up. Let me see if I clean you off. There we go, a little better. I was so excited to hit the road. I walked right past our car. Anyway, this is our last day here. We're heading to Charleston now. I'm just going back to the hotel with the car to pick up all our goods. All right, so here we go. I had to empty the cooler, had water in it. Uh, there's an Escalade over here that's got the doors wide open on it, but nobody around. Not my problem. Anyway, back to the hotel, which is just across the street. Load up our stuff. Heading south. We're already south. Heading souther. Further south. You got it. Checked out of the hotel and homeless. Jen and Ella just getting the last couple of pictures from the beach. Young fellow over here washing his dog at the, well, you can't really see it, at the spray where you spray your feet, the sand off your feet. Dog getting a wash. Saying goodbye to the beach. Heading to Charleston. Before your people see you die, just 
drive quickly. I quickly, got there's it. no cops on this road. It doesn't matter if you drive 155, no one cares. Fucking liars, no one told me about our bridge. I found a way around it. Well, we made it to Charleston, South Carolina. What a beautiful place this is. If you've never been here, as with any tourist attraction or big city, uh, parking is at a premium. So we are looking for a place to park the car where we can get out and walk around within the vicinity. It's uh, 95 degrees. Oh yeah, it's hot. So we're gonna spend a little bit of time here. Uh, I'll show you around there a little bit. See what you, I'll show you what we see. Uh, then we're gonna hit the road and start heading north to home. All right, well, we found a place to park. We're down on Bay Street. Jen's got the key, she gotta lock the car. We're gonna have a look at all these houses. Now there's a name for this row of 13 or 14 houses that are all, that have all the pastel colors. There's a name for that. I'm gonna get back to you in a second with that name. We're gonna start walking and look at some history. It's about uh, 97 degrees in the shade. Well, I shouldn't say that. What is it, about 89 in the shade? No, it's probably like 97. All right, we'll go with 97 <laughs> in the shade, probably over 100 in the sun. We found a nice trail along the water we're walking along here. pro tip for you when you all have to go to the bathroom don't just walk into a restaurant and use the bathroom and leave I think I just got the most expensive medium roast coffee ever but all right guys we are making our way back to the car the heat is almost unbearable so those of you not from Canada it does get hot there but uh, normally it doesn't get as hot as it is here Okay, Charleston, awesome city, awesome city. So here's the deal. And it's not because I'm cheap. I gotta make this quick because my bladder is about to explode. But uh, it's 13 and a half, 14 hours from Charleston, South Carolina to Tilbury, Ontario, Canada. I said to Jess, I wonder if I could drive the whole way. She says, laughed at me and says, no way. That's a challenge. Stopped off here in Asheville, North Carolina on the way home. I got another 10 hours of driving. All right guys, last spoke to you in Asheville, North Carolina. We were gonna drive straight home. Uh, Jen was a little worried about driving all night long and me getting tired and whatnot, so we are here at the Baymont in Clinton, Tennessee. Now my relatives, Kim and Mike, Cody and Paige, are from Clinton, Tennessee. So they probably know exactly where I'm at. I-75 is over my shoulder there. So it's about 12 o'clock at night. I just got a coffee for some reason. We're going to go in, sleep, get up, have breakfast, and hit the road again. I think we're going to Norris Dam in the morning. Kim, Mike, you know where that is? Norris Dam? You'll see it tomorrow. Good night. Well, I don't think y'all are going to believe this. I made a wrong turn coming out of the parking garage and I'm going up. I just now don't realize that the grade was up. I don't know what happened. Drinking, but none of them. Yeah, you turned around here and go the right way. Just lost about five minutes off my day. Come on, people.